Heidi Borchers has been trimming trash and decorating discards forever. Perhaps you know her as Eco Heidi. One of Heidi's creative passions is mosaic, and today she's sharing the coolest mosaic tiles. I'm delighted to welcome Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you. I was already here and forgot to click the button, so uh, let's get started. Um, today I'm going to show you a really easy technique on doing um, mosaic. It's a little tile. It's, it's a great technique. You can use it for anything, and it really shows you how to do the actual mosaic technique. So it's gonna, we're going to do like a little, um, let me get this out of the way. We're going to do a little tile like this, just four by four tile. And Tiffany's got lots of different samples that she can show as we're going along. But I want to kind of get in because we've got lots to do. I'm even going to try and show you how to how to grout because everybody's always um, afraid to grout. So here is the demo table. And let's go over some um, supplies. First thing you need is a 4x4 four four tile. These are really cheap like at, um, at Home Depot. Then you need some kind of miscellaneous tiles. Uh, you can use plates, you can use uh, ceramics, I got all kinds of little beads. If you want to put a word in, there's a little, the little plastic beads that you get at the craft store. Um, you need a cutter if you're going to cut them. If you're not going to cut them, you can do something like this. We can just glue all the squares. If you're going to cut them, you need a cutter. And I like this wheel nipper. There is one available that, like this. This is the regular one <clears throat> you'll see in most of the craft stores. This is a little bit newer one, but I like this one because it kind of controls. Oops, wait one second. Let's tighten the wheel. It kind of controls your cut. It's really easy. Look how easy that is. Just any of the tiles, any way you want. Any of these little tiles. You can cut them. You can, you can get little tiny pieces. So that's how you would go to cut them. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to glue them. And I, you can use either the back or the front of the tile. Um, I kind of like the back because it's, it's just kind of porous and the glue st um, stays really easily. Now here is the biggest secret. You put a drop of glue like that and you put it down on your tile. Now this would be the same thing if you had wood, if you had a stepping stone, if you had um, metal, glass, anything that you were going to put on a dot and then you put it down and you just you leave a little bit of space in between for the grout if I can get that up there and go right to the edge like so really really easy you can use these really cool glass gloves or glass marbles just put them anywhere and it's just it's basically just like a puzzle oh well, there's one there's one of the um the tiles and that tile has little mirror pieces on all the back, the whole back, and the heart itself is out of a, a, a plate that I got at a garage sale. Now, let's say that you wanted to, um, you want to put a mirror, and you want them to be all the same level. See how these tiles are the same level? I don't know if you can mirror here, but if you want to put a mirror and you want it to be the same level, the secret on that is you put a little piece of um, craft stick down first, and then you put your tile on to raise it up. Okay, let's try to get into um, some grouting here. I have one already done here. Get everything apart. Now, I use um, sanded grout. Um, I, when I first started to mosaic, I tried using the non-sanded grout, and I had so much trouble, I thought, oh, I'm never going to do this project again. But if you use the sanded grout, it's a lot easier to um, handle. I'm going to put a little bit of water in my grout with a sponge and I'm just going to take a craft stick and stir it a little bit more and you want to get kind of a nice um, kind of a peanut butter or oatmeal texture to your grout I like it where it's a little thick. I don't like it where it's too soupy. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I'm going to put on some gloves. 
You know, the, the sanded grout comes in oh, probably about 50 different colors. This one that I'm using today is called North Sea Green. And if you, if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to buy like a 10 pound, 20 pound bag, because that's the way I buy it, I always do have it available in these small containers for the little trial pieces. And we'll try to get some of that up on Cool to Craft. Okay, so here we go. Don't be afraid. You just put it on. And you just kind of smush it in. Get your hand. Oh, also, I taped, I taped the edges. And I'll show you why later. And you just push it in. All the crevices. Put it on the side. And then... <laughs> cell phone ringing. And once you have enough in all the edges, then you take the sponge. See how that is? You take the sponge, and then you just wipe it off. And clean your sponge in between. <laughs> yeah, that was my cell phone. <laughs> in a second, it's going to go off because my time will be off. Now, I'm going to be giving away, at the end of the show, I'm going to be giving away one of my books. And I'm going to kind of clean this up as we go along um, while, while you're watching other people. But I want to show you just before I still have some time. I'm going to be cleaning this up um, in a little bit. And all I do is just kind of clean it with some paper towels and some, um, some Q-tips. Here's my book. It's called The Beginner's Guide. And the cool thing about this book is the way it's set up is it shows you all kinds of um, the different tiles in, that you can use. And then it has all kinds of different, it has it on rocks, it has it on um, the tiles, it has it on, um, there's on some of the tiles. So this is the book that I'm going to be giving away in a little bit. And um, I think that that's about it for now and I'm going to go ahead and just keep cleaning this up and um, I'm ready for some questions.